Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be starting something new. So, as you can see, we're going to give Disco Elysium a nice try here. Um, I'm planning on doing a full playthrough of this, but uh, it always, it's always possible that once I get into this that, uh, you know, I don't like it or that it just doesn't work well, whatever it might be. But right now, I'm planning on playing this. Um, I've heard really good things about this game. It just won a whole bunch of games at the Game Awards. And, um, yeah, everything that I've heard from, uh, you know, a lot of the reviewers that I trust and watch, um, they've had nothing but good things to say about this. This is not going to be an action-packed game, from what I understand. From what I understand, there's almost no combat, really. It's mostly role-playing, so it's high RPG elements, um, kind of like built like a CRPG. And, uh, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of story. There might be a lot of reading, so, um, you know, I, I might be reading a lot, and uh, hopefully I don't lose my voice. Let's see how it goes. Um, but, yeah, I've heard that this is a very, very good game. So these are the options that I'm running on. There's not a lot going on here, but environment FX is high. We've got 8 times anti-aliasing. Um, dynamic shadows are on, and the shader quality is brilliant, so... Um, you guys will be seeing a 1080 image, but I am playing 1440, so there will be some scaling. Um, I am going to bring up the text size, maybe, just in case. We'll see what that looks like, but let's go ahead and do a new game. Alright, so this is the only screen that I've seen. I haven't done anything in this game, but I did look at this screen because I found this interesting. Um, I wanted to see what kind of like builds you can make. So we can create our own, or we can go with one of these presets. The Thinker. Extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. Uh, the sensitive, very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable, might begin to lose his mind. This one kind of sounds fun, I'm not going to lie. Physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. I'm not going to be playing any kind of physical thing. Um, I'm definitely thinking one of these two. You can create your own here. So we've got intellect, psyche, physique, and motorics. So intellect, raw brain power, how smart you are. Psyche, sensitivity, how emotionally intelligent you are. Physique, your musculature, or how strong you are. And motorics, your senses, or how agile you are. You can just kind of like randomize these if you wanted to. Um, but I think I might do sensitive here. So we're not very intelligent. So um, we're, we're pretty dumb. I mean, it says this one's dumb as a rock, but that one's also one intelligence. So, uh, the sensitive one is also dumb as a rock. Uh, Psyche comes with a plus one in Inland Empire. I don't know what that means yet. Whatever that means is that there's something there. We've got something. Um, physique. We're at a four on that one, so, uh, we're fairly built. So, we're, we're built fairly well, and we have an, um... And we're sensitive. <laughs> or emotionally intelligent, I think is what it said. So, and then Motorix, we've got one point in that. So yeah, let's go ahead and give this a try. I don't know how much uh, this can change throughout the course of a game, but let's, let's uh, go ahead and get into this thing. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. R.S. Thompson. Again. There is nothing, only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore, ever, never, ever. Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna simply keep on non-existing. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Ancient reptilian brain. So this is like uh, our, uh, our narrator here? <laughs> no ex-wives are contained within it. This is great. Yes, it is. Um, what was that about the X something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. 
soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's bloated and shameful, a pool of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. The meat thing. That's our limbic system talking to us. No, no, I, I wanted to know about the X something. X love. <laughs> Extenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of allergic zone. No, I want to get off now. I, I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Do give me the pain. Really? I do. Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why did you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much over yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? Inland Empire, easy success. Fear and apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. Wait, I did this to myself? Yes, your one disco mother. Well, tell me what's waiting for me. There's this giant ball there in evil apes, and the evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. How small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. And how big is the ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're choking it out. It's that large. And this duking it out I keep hearing about. What's that? Fine for resources. It's a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Or you lose. You know, let's lean into that sad. I mean, we are a little bit strong, so maybe, maybe this would be good, you know? Like, go ahead, beat the evil apes, but no. I'm gonna lean into the, uh, the sensitive side. That's kind of sad. Yes, it is. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. What do you mean, drowned? You lost. Open your eyes. We are a troubled individual. Oh, nice. That's our character. Lovely. I'm a handsome son of a bitch, aren't I? This magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Okay, so I'm left-clicking to move. Then, um... Let's see, take all. Okay. Item gained. Got ourselves a shirt. Well done. Hold tab to highlight. So that just highlights things that we can interact with, I guess. Looks like someone tore... Oh, I missed that. This reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on. Rolling empty. Is that my shoe? Just one of them. We found one of our shoes. There's our pants. Oh, broken window. Oh, whoops, I didn't take off. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. <laughs> Visual calculus. Assess the damage. Easy success. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? Look at them. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. So what did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after, in after impact. Assess the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. 
I bet you that when we go outside, we'll be able to find whatever this is. The single green shoe you found fits the hole. Okay, there it is. Almost as well as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Yeah, maybe it wasn't me? <laughs> you mean someone else took your shoe off and smashed the window with it? Yeah, I should go and get that shoe. New task, find your other shoe, plus five experience. A cool wind gushes in, your toes curl up from the cold. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, um, my tie. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Okay, Inland Empire. I still don't know what that means. Medium success. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. Savoir Fair, medium 10, grab the tie. Low, 28%. This is a white check. You may retry it. 1-1 one, one always loses. 6-6 six, six always wins. Let's pull on the fan. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Okay, now it's 72%. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning. Warning. The necktie is no longer contained. Item gain. The horrific necktie. Ceiling fan. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Let's try pulling on the light bulb. See what happens. Oh, a terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. I think we have a hangover, ladies and gents. Pain threshold. Medium success. It's just a little hangover. Induced photosensitivity. Don't overreact. Pull again to turn the lights off. The lights are off. Alright, let's leave. Okay, can I, like, look around? Okay, I can zoom in and out. It doesn't look like I have, like, a free camera to move around with WASD or my arrows. But I can scroll in and out. Reception, hearing. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare-cut pants. Fish them out. It says, whirling in rags on the aluminum key ring. There's a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Okay, found our keys. You see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liquors. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really? Nothing? Really? All recollection... All recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking, it was a deluge, a world ending of world ending proportions. Okay, well, I don't know how ugly I am yet, so let's wipe this mirror off. Man, I drank way too much last night. As you slowly reach your hand toward the surface of the mirror, Inland Empire, an easy success. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you will see there, and you will never unbecome it. <laughs> hey, we have to know, right? Maybe, you know what? Let's start here. Number two. Maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. What? But, but what? What's wrong? Where'd it even begin? There's the bloatedness. Then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. 
At least my tongue is okay. Touch your tongue. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. Oh, I'm sorry. Touch your nose. Ah, uh, bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it, and it doesn't appear to be particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks that's absorbed for you. Okay, let's wipe the mirror now. Behold. Oh, man. Beautiful. Look at this man. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Um, is it some kind of superstar? I think I'm a superstar. It appears you're also dead. <laughs> There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Or wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Um, I'm not making it. The face is making it itself. Dude, I'm already going insane. <laughs> Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No, this is what superstars do. Keep making the face. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin to your face and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? God, I don't know. It's indescribable, just like my face. <laughs> you know what? I, I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. Please promise yourself you are not going to try it on any of the ladies. Whatever happens. I promise. Lie. <laughs> Gained experience. You liar. You can't even tell the truth to yourself. Go ahead. Try something. Okay, a formidable 3%. Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Electrochemistry. Impossible, huh? Attempt to stop the expression from happening. Well, we can't do either of those things. Um, I mean, I don't know, like, what exactly. So, a white check, you may retry it. All right, let's try one. Formidable failure. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place, somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. Okay, let's try two. Impossible failure. It's too late. Like an image on film, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Well, not much we can do about it, I suppose. Okay. Um, what door is this? This isn't the way out, right? Okay, must not be able to do anything with that right now. Um, okay, what are these down here? Intellect, Psyche, Physique, Motorix, and each of those have different areas. So, Inland Empire, what is that? Hunches and gut feelings, dreams and waking life. Gives five to your base psyche, huh? Okay. Hold yourself together. Keep your morale up. Empathy. Understand others. Work your mirror neurons. Uh, intimidate the public. Assert yourself. Ooh. And connect to Station 41. Understand cop culture. Charm men and women. Play the puppet master. Okay, interesting. I'm going to look at the ones I'm strong in right now. We will look at some of these other ones later. Um, but I just want to look at these. Take the blows. Don't let the world kill you. It's endurance. Pain threshold. Shrug off the pain. They'll have to hurt you more. <laughs> okay. Physical instrument. Flex powerful muscles. Enjoy healthy organs. Electrochemistry. Go to party planet. Love and be loved by drugs. Oh my. Shivers. Raise the hair on your neck. Tune into the city. Let the body take control. Threaten people. So we've got we've got options here for uh, you know asserting ourselves and intimidating people. Half light and authority. We can also go empathy. Morale. I don't know exactly what cop culture is, <laughs> and this is probably kind of like uh, you know persuasion. Suggestion persuasion. All right. 
um, experience points. 10 out of 100. So that'll give us more skill points. I'm assuming skill points are these. I don't know. Maybe these change over the course of the game. Maybe they don't at all. Okay, so interesting. If I have one intellect, I can only get one point in any of these. So that's how it works. So two points in any of these. I can get four points in these and five points in these. Interesting. Um, maybe you can add more to these at some point, but I wouldn't be surprised if these are just our stats. And uh, our skill points will go into these. Um, when we get a skill point, maybe I'll read these other ones too, because they might also be useful in some way. Okay, um, necktie's already on. We don't have anything else, right? We have tools, gloves, items, interact. Disco ass blazer. Halogen watermarks. Plus one, spirit decor. Looks like someone skinned this blazer off some long extinct disco animal. It has an enigmatic white rectangle on the back and the right sleeve. Okay, so it comes with, um, so instead of having, like, traditional armor, it looks like it comes with, um, abilities in areas. So, plus one conceptualization, minus one suggestion, minus one savoir-faire, and plus one electrochemistry. So, you know, our ability to do more drugs, I suppose. Vivid Imagination, plus one Inland Empire. Okay. Find your other shoe. Um, that's our, that's our uh, current goal, I guess. Okay, we can't click on this. I don't know what these are. Maybe weapons or items that you can hold? Okay, let's go to the door. We have our key. Alright, so there's a bit of a fog of war until you enter a room. There's something on the table. Oh, is it money? Nice, looks like money. 40 cents, hell yeah. Minus 4 degrees centigrade, bad road can- Oh, it's the radio. I thought that was something that popped up when I picked up the money. Um, okay, let's uh, go over here. Check this calendar and then talk to this uh, woman over here. Hello, officer. Well, hello. The calendar says it's March. The year is 1951. Um, Klosje, Miss Orange, disco dancer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Uh, uh. Um, you know, we don't really know who we are, apparently. So, let's go with one, see if we can figure it out. She's gonna think we're crazy. Um, so, Miss Disco Dancer, um, I'm an officer? Am I military personnel? Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. Authority, medium success. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. Oh, yeah, we're not very smart, are we? Wait, I know, I'm a businessman. Chief Executive Officer, right? The young woman shakes her head slowly. Okay, um, CTO then? No, you're a police officer, sir. <laughs> that voice. You're shitting me. I'm not, unless <laughs> you've been shitting us all this time. Well, I mean, she takes another drag. All this time, I, I might have been. You've been here for three days, on official police business, no less. Um, and what business is that? This is a bad look. I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I like number two. Um, let's see. Challenging. Try the expression on her. Let her know you want her. Physically. Oh, God. 42%? This sounds sounds like a terribly bad idea. Oh, that's the expression that I did in the mirror? Oh my god. This seems like the game where I have to like Oh, do do I do I try to use the expression? Hmm. It's a 42%.
check failure. <laughs> the words have already left your mouth. Uh, I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> Disco dancer erupts in laughter. All the fatigue swept from her face. What was that? That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. Uh, no, I... No, I don't want to. <laughs> Come on, man, pretty please, one more time. Authority, medium success. Don't back down now. Say what you said again, proudly. I said, I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> Goddamn right you did, you crazy asshole, you. She wipes the tears from her eyes. What kind of cop are you? Well, I could be a cop of the apocalypse. Superstar cop, that, that could be fun. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. You're pretty, I'm sorry, I'm the sorry cop. Sorry cop, huh? That, that might be a good, good option there. You know, apologize to the poor lady. Uh, I'm not sure I'm a cop at all. I sure don't remember being one. I think I might have lied. Um, let's go with three. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. You are pretty. I'm sorry. I'm the sorry cop. Don't be. It was funny. And anyway, who gives a shit? Uh, who, who gives a shit about any of it? Um, this seems like kind of a nihilistic world, doesn't it? <laughs> Empathy. Medium success. She appears to genuinely want you to understand it's okay. So what if you can't pull grade A pussy anymore? <laughs> there are other things in life, more meaningful, more fitting for a man your age. This, she gestured towards herself, draped in silver. This is Fata Morgana. One thing, though, she extinguishes her cigarette. It's going to suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. Oh. What? Okay. That walk, though. I mean, she is Miss Orange Disco Dancer. And for the record, no, I didn't do it. Um, now I do know from like marketing materials that we are going to be investigating some kind of murder. So, uh, all right, we're going to have to interrogate her at some point. Well, um, yeah, making things awkward for ourselves. Um, let's check this out. <laughs> Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Okay, didn't look like we could open this. Um, this circle, that means we can do something with ourselves, right? Okay, so this is some kind of event with ourselves. Um, electrochemistry, so this is the drugs one, right? You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray, light it up, and smoke the living shit out of it. The, 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 the what now? The living shit. Your mesolimbic reward pathway does not mince words. It wants smokes. Dude, am, am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? A monster? A murderer? A gnome of Jeroma? You feel like a smoker, especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stub, still smoldering deliciously. But she broke it at the filter. I can't, I can't smoke that. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette, or better yet, an entire pack. Strike that a carton. Make sure they're all healthy and able-bodied, then smoke them all. Yes, um, yeah. My, oh, now my hor horrific necktie is getting in. The idea seems to make your neck expand. Suddenly, the garish tie feels very snug. Volition, medium su success. Or you could not do that. No one is making you. Hmm. Is this agreeing with volition or is that agreeing with electrochemistry? I should enthusiastically do that. I should not not do that. I'll make it priority one. Good. They'll make you stronger and better. You're too old to be cool now, but find cigarettes, smoke them, blam. Instantly, a cool renegade man, a mystical red dragon with smoke rising from his nostrils. The ladies will love you. New task, find smokes and smoke them. Plus, smoking them gives massive bonuses. Oh dear, this game. I can already tell this is going to be something else. Door room number three, the door is closed. 
Um, we're not going to try the handle. We're going to try knocking first. How about that? There is no answer. Perception. Easy, easy success. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. Um, easy success. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. Um, beauty, don't abandon me in all this ugliness. The door does not care. The door probably thinks you are a has-been loser, too. You feel your funny necktie become tighter and tighter around your neck. Um, yeah, we'll try the handle. This door can only be opened with a key. Or from the inside. I'm an insane person. This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper, Trompe Le Monde. Alright, let's go downstairs. Wasn't there a door on the other side? Maybe I should have tried that. Also, I'm, I don't know if this is a game where I should be, uh, like, constantly saving or what. Oh, I think we're in, uh, cutscene mode. 